Right, good morning. You join me back in the garage. Uh, the reason why I'm in the garage this time is because we're all in lockdown because of COVID-19. Uh, I was going to make this fun little video out in the garden, unfortunately. It seems as though the entire world has decided to go out and either mow their grass or take their car for a drive because the sun's out. I'm sure we were in lockdown. Anyway, I've been asked by P. Jones uh, on YouTube to do a review, a two year review of the Cadence, Cadence CS10 4000 reel that I've been owning. So here they are. Try and get you a little look in the sun there. That's what they are. Fantastic little bits of kit. Uh, so the CS10, it's got 11 ball bearings in it, it's got a magnesium frame, which is all of this bit. Uh, it's got a spare spool, spare aluminium spool. Where is it, that one? And actually, oh, nearly dropped it. And as you can see, the line lay on these is actually really good. This one here is on £3 Macthema, and that one's on £5 Dave Harrell. Now then, I use these reels almost specifically now on my float rods. Uh, I use them fishing for on still waters for carp, on the waggler, I use them on the rivers for chub, and so far I've had no issues whatsoever uh, whilst float fishing. However, and this is a big however, I have used it feeder fishing as well. Uh, I used to use these wholeheartedly on my specimen rods and on my feeder rods, uh, and I thought I was having no problems. Until last year on the Glebe, uh, I've turned up uh, I was fishing eight pound line on one of these and I've put the line underneath the line clip which is really good. I would like to point out the line clips are really good uh, but I was clipped up at two spots and I put the line eight pound sensor underneath the clip once and I've come back a couple of turns, clipped it up again because I was going to start short and then go longer uh, and then second cast the line's got caught behind the line clip on release uh, and cracked me off and then I picked up my spare rod that I'd had set up and that did exactly the same as well. So, it's not an individual spool problem. Uh, I believe it's the way that I cast, is I hold onto the reel handle through my third finger, and I tend to hold uh, the line against the spool with my in, uh, middle finger. And then as I release, for some reason, I seem to have been flicking the line behind the line clip. Uh, I've had to change the way I cast, uh, so that now, like James and everybody on the videos I watched them, they hook the line. Uh, and they seem to have no problems. So it's more a me problem, the way that I cast with the reels. Uh, another issue that I know some people are having is that they can't open the bail arm, where is it, where they want to. I say some people, I think it's just on that, but yeah. So one of my mates had one and he went, oh, I can't stand him because I can't open the rear of the bail arm where I want to open the bail arm because I cast like this. Uh, but Kev, I, I've had no problems, mate. So I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, other than that, these are fantastic. Uh, they've got, like I say, uh, 11 ball bearings, 240 grams in weight, really lightweight reel. It's got, that's done by the magnesium frame. It's got the spare aluminium spool. It's got a carbon composite side plate, which is that bit there where the handle goes in. It's got a nice metal handle. Lovely little thing I like about these is that there's no fiddly little bits. You just unwind the handle three times, four times, five times, and it folds in nice and tight up against the real body. So it's really easy to pack away. Uh, and then once again, put it out, wind it down, and you're in. You're in and working, and there's nothing going to sh shake that out. Uh, these currently retail at 99.99 on the Cadence website. There will be a link in the bio below, and I'll find somewhere put a picture or a link to it because uh, I've discovered recently that because I don't actually take any money off you guys for doing my videos, I'm not allowed to post links. Nice one, YouTube. Uh, yeah, so in the box you get a reel and a spare spool. Like I say, the uh, the actual line layer is phenomenal on both of these. Uh, and I've had no problems, the drag's silky smooth, it's got a really fast retrieve, brilliant on the rivers, and also not too shabby fishing a pellet waggler. Okay, bonus feature. So that was the CS10. Now then, uh, last year, late last year, I was looking for a set of reels so that I could have a float rod set up with a CS10 on it, and I could also have a pair of specimen rods with another reel on. 
started looking around at bait runners and all this sort of jazz. And then I'm spotted on the Cadence website, these. Now then, this is the CS5. The CS5 4000 is the same size reel as the CS10, however this time it only has nine ball bearings. Uh, it comes in slightly heavier, 270 grams, that's mainly because it's more carbon composite rather than magnesium. Uh, so it's got a carbon frame, it's got a carbon side panel, uh, it's got a carbon rotor, oh, everything's carbon composite basically, which makes it nice and cheap. Now then, the other thing that saves money on this is that the spare spool is no longer aluminium. So I've got aluminium spool on the reel, but graphite spare spool. Notice this is loaded with eight pound sensor. I'll come on to that in a minute. Uh, yeah, the line lay on this is brilliant. I've had these strapped on my 11 foot uh, specimen rods uh, all winter chasing roach. Uh, I've had fish to two and a half pound near, uh, yeah, two seven I've had them on. Uh, that's been fishing with these little light rods, pinging them a long way. Uh, I say a long way, 60, 70 yards, which is a long way on the rods I'm using. Uh, yeah, so the line lay needs to be good, and it is. Uh, the retrieve's good, it's nice and robust. I'm fishing with 40, 50 gram feeders, and you're just cranking back nice and steady, get the rod tip up and just wind away, and it's got enough power to actually bring those feeders back. So I've tried them on the river, on the feeder. Works very well on that as well. Uh, to such an extent that this spool is loaded with eight pound sensor. The other week I fished fire duct in a match and uh, I've been catching carp to low doubles on the tip. Uh, so a 10 foot bomb rod and uh, that little reel attached to it. Small feeders, uh, sorry, small bombs. So I was fishing between an eighth of an ounce and two thirds of an ounce. And it was literally just trying to plop the bomb in uh, to mimic the pellets I was feeding. And yeah, it worked very well, uh, cast very well. And again, playing the fish, it wasn't so much a pump and wind, but you could almost wind on the fish because uh, there's enough grunt in the reel, which is what I like when it comes to playing fish on the reels. Now then, uh, like I say, it's all carbon composite, it's slightly heavier than that. It's 30 grams heavier than CS10, so I won't be holding it up in the air like that all day. It's only an ounce, yes, I probably would. Uh, but it comes in at a respectable 49.99. And I've seen them advertised now several times where you buy one, get one free. Now, I don't know how they do this this cheaply, apart from the fact it's all carbon and made in China. So far, I've had these six months or so. I've had no problems with them. Uh, the line clips are good. Uh, I haven't tried fishing with feeders on my normal feeder gear for carp range, uh, which is where I have had problems in the past. I will update you when I actually do that as to whether or not I have any issues. But like you can hear, the bail arms are really robust, turns over every time. Uh, the same on the CS10, they're just solid, reliable reels. They've got loads of cr uh, grunt. They've got quite high retrieve ratios. Uh, 6.1 to two, I think it is. It should say it on the reel spool on one of them. And it's about 6.1 to one, sorry which is very fast, which is good on the river, uh, banging in float gear, uh, but sometimes it could be a little bit too quick. But like I say, I had no issues playing carp on them the other day. Uh, other downside, the CS5. I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but if I hold that up there and put it next to my head, so it focuses on my eye, you should be able to see a lot of the paint's coming off. That's just a cheapness thing, basically. It's nothing to worry about. Absolutely does not affect the quality or the reliability of the reel in any way, shape or form. So in short, if I had a hundred quid and I was float fishing most of the time, I'd go for a CS10. If I didn't have a hundred quid and I was doing everything, even float fishing, I'd go for a CS5. Fantastic bits of kit. Well done, Cadence. I really don't know how you do it. Watch out part two for more stuff. Oh,